around for the next uh, episode of our little reviews. Now we're going with the first anime and I do have to apologise in advance because I kind of rant in this one but before we start I am going to shame sh shamelessly plug another non-sponsor. This is for you to get the best and latest anime um, without having to wait too long and for that I would recommend Crunchyroll and Funimation. They are owned, now owned by the same company however if you prefer subbed or dubbed I would say uh, they are the best way to go. I pref personally prefer having subbed and dubbed just depending on my mood but Funimation is great for dubs if you want a really good clear quality and Crunchyroll is amazing for subs with proper translations instead of uh, sometimes you get sentences you don't quite understand so I would say check these two out because Honestly, they are super helpful when you just want to watch a good anime. Uh, you can see you can watch them for free with some adverts, but I actually pay, and it's only like four ninety nine for both uh, for both of them. So, like you know, for each of them. So, I would say if you're, it's super useful if you want to see some other an like minded anime lovers, and they have a fantastic community which you can join. Now on to the anime Uchi no Maid a Ugasi Uza Tsukiru Apologies again for my terrible Japanese And also it is basically what the fuck Japan Well specifically aimed towards Kadokawa Pictures and Dogo Kobo Studios who have made and distributed this anime series this series has been classed as a comedy and slice of life, along with being a mature since I've been in some aspects, but I believe no one under 16 should watch this anime or watch this anime after how messed up it is. Now I'm not saying that it is bad as Berserk Destiny in terms of horror. I mean it I mean it can make you honestly speechless and shock how this could ever get passed through a board meeting and I'm not kidding when I say this is stranger danger at its peak. User made is based mainly around two protagonists. Firstly a half Russian schoolgirl called Misha Takanashi who had recently lost her mother and this of a hard working father. She's rebellious and often does what she wants whilst looking after her pet ferret Kumagoro. The other protagonist is an ex-army muscular woman with one eye, Tsubame Kamoi, who joins the who joins the Takanashi household as her maid with an excessive obsession of young girls. This leads to the whole, whole anime of the, these two fighting with with Tsubame crossing a line and trying to make Misha fall in love with her whilst Kumagoro tries to defend Misha with warning her constantly about her maid's presence. I would admit that there are some classic funny scenes in the anime which, you know, come in most general animes that are comedy slice of life. I would say, similar to Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. The art style is very modern, the voice or voiceover is good quality and you can tell the studio really worked hard despite my personal feelings about it. Bright colours, unusual hairstyles and accentuated character features it is is made to be its own recognisable anime. As I have mentioned, Tsubame crosses the line quite a few times to try and get Misha to fall in love with her. One of the most disturbing examples is that she goes onto a child's chat forum and pretends to be a child with exactly the same interests and exactly the same pet. Of course, Misha is just a child in this anime and trusts the random person online and agrees to meet up with her, which is every per parent's worst nightmare. This is just one of the things Tsubami does wrong. We've all heard of the tropes of pervy characters, but the creators of Yusuf Main have gone from pervy to paedophile in this sort of it is very like just before the line to paedophile 
and that is how it becomes way too disturbing. Does anyone else think it's worse that the father brushes Tsubame off like it's nothing? And I think this angers me more because the actual anime is translated to my maid is so annoying, which isn't actually the main issue here. Yeah, I think it makes light of some serious issues with children and adults with this very strange nature like Tsubame. And it doesn't help later on in the series that Midori Ukai, an old friend of Tsubame's from the Air Force, ends up trying to stalk Tsubame because she has a huge crush on her and tries to take her away from Misha making us feel more symp sympathetic towards Tsubame and more annoyed at Misha which now annoys me because now I'm feeling sorry for the person that's actually causing a lot of problems I think we should I understand that Misha is now stuck between these two crazy women and their weird moods in my personal opinion it's not a bad looking anime and the animation itself is pretty good. It's just the premise of the overall story that frustrates and disturbs me at the same times. I am a fan of slice and life and comedy. Well, one of my first animes was Aura in High School High School. I think that says enough. I was just hoping something a little bit better from Dogo Kobo Studios. Preferably, I would say, watch something else like Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. And I would put this anime in probably the same disturbing weirdness as my first love monster. If anyone's seen that, that's equally as creepy. Well, I want to thank you for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.